Good afternoon. My name is Noel Walker. I'm one of the ministers of the Tin Turn Church of Christ. And uh, today, uh, March 21st, was going to be the first day of our garden club. But yeah, this, like a lot of things these days, uh, had to be canceled in order for us to stay at home and reduce the risk of infection with COVID-19. Uh, but well, we're not going to let that stop us as an act of defiance. We are going to plant in hope, uh, looking forward to a time when the things that we plant right now are going to be put in the ground. And these things that uh, will eventually be put in the ground are going to produce things like uh, tomatoes. We're getting our tomatoes, we're getting some uh, lettuce, some jalapeno peppers, uh, all started today. Uh, and this uh, act that we are doing today, this uh, act of defiance, this act of hope, uh, reminded me of a story. And I know uh, most of the time when you hear a minister say that, you know you're in for a snooze, but stay with me. Uh, in Jeremiah chapter 32, we read this very interesting story. Uh, it's a story of, uh, it's a sad story actually, uh, King Zedekiah has the entire um, uh, army of Jerusalem all inside the city. The Babylonians have surrounded them. They're under siege. Um, this is all that's left. And you might be thinking, oh, hang on, I know who King Zedekiah is. He's the last king of Israel. And you're right. Uh, this is the last stand. This is the end. And he's got Jeremiah under arrest, being held in the court. And uh, things are not looking very good. Uh, the entire country has been captured, uh, and it's now down to this final stand. Uh, Jeremiah has not made very many friends with King Zedekiah or any of uh, his cronies. But God comes to Jeremiah and says, I want you to perform a prophetic sign. So it's not just uh, prophetic signs that you speak out loud, but sometimes it's things that you do. And God asks Jeremiah, he tells him that your cousin uh, is going to come and he is going to uh, ask you to buy a property. Now that was a, a process, uh, a redemption process, uh, that is described in Leviticus chapter 25. In Leviticus 25, if you are running out of cash uh, or if you're, phys you're financially destitute, uh, what you can do is talk to someone in your family and say, hey, listen, I need some help. I need you to buy a piece of property here so that it doesn't pass out of your family. Uh, they wanted to keep the property uh, within the family and keep the inheritance intact. And so, sure enough, just like God says, uh, one of Jeremiah's cousins uh, comes to him while he's in prison and asks him, hey, listen, would you be willing to uh, buy this property back from me? And so, as an act of hope, Jeremiah does it. Jeremiah weighs out 17 pieces of silver, which would have been a um, you know, market value for a property like that. But it was, it was madness to buy property. It was outside of Jerusalem. Uh, it's land that's now being held by the Babylonians. But what God is telling Jeremiah to do in the sight of uncertainty and in the sight uh, of, of difficulty it is act in hope. And so Jeremiah buys this property that he's likely never going to be able to even see uh, because he believes in faith that there's going to be a day when I could go and see this property. It might not be soon. There's going to be a day where my descendants may actually get to use this property. So he buys the property as an act of defiance and as an act of hope. So planting uh, for me today is an act of hope. Uh, this is an act I anticipate that it might not be soon, uh, but there's going to be a day when this whole thing's over and we can go back to some semblance of normalcy. Uh, these plants are going to get put in the ground at some point. They are going to uh, grow uh, and become tomatoes and lettuce uh, and jalapeno peppers. Uh, we're looking forward to planting some other things perhaps in a month anticipating a growing season in May. Uh, we don't think this is going to last forever. Uh, what are some things you're looking forward to? What are some acts of hope that you're uh, engaging in at this time? Maybe there's something way off in the future that you could start planting now. That you could start imagining. What would it look like? Um, I was thinking the other night about our first worship service back at the Tintern Church building when this is all done. That is going to be a big deal. 
Uh, we are going to pray. We are going to sing. Um, I'm not promising anything at this point, but it's quite possible that we are just going to sing. And that's going to be the only uh, thing we'll do that first Sunday when we get back. No promises. But there are going to be days in the future to look forward to. And so as an act of hope, uh, coping with the difficulty of the next few weeks and the next few months, let's look forward. Let's look ahead to something uh, in the future that we can uh, look forward to. And by God's grace, we'll get there.